<laughs> he's a blurter. He is a blurter. Hello. He's just chaos. Hello. And welcome back to Edder Asterix. Uh, we last week, you guys <clears throat> had a couple of choices to make. The assassins were expecting you to go with them to their guild hall and then the Royal Army of Thunderheart picked you up and uh, tried to escort you back to the king. But then, your favourite two vultures in the whole world appeared. Uh, <laughs> a scuffle almost broke out, uh, but you ended up going with the vultures. Uh, or, you, know, you, you started to head to their nest, but <clears throat> while you were resting, and the vultures were hunting for food. They got attacked by an elemental. Uh, you were faced with a choice of either to walk until it just left you alone, or go up and attack it and fight it. Uh, Javiel, being the brave soul that he is. Very brave, renowned for it in fact. Suggested that you guys fight the elemental. So we're gonna drop you in Right there. Uh, oh, are we starting immediately? Yes. Yeah. I mean, well, I did go along with Noel's suggestion that we should try and talk to it first. Yeah, so we, the, it was only yeah, in the after agreed, chat we realised none of us We speak agreed elemental. that Pearl would. Oh, talk to I understand them. it. I can understand or try. It. I can't speak it though. So, this is where you guys are. Also, we don't know that in character. Pearl just assumes they speak infernal. <laughs> oh yeah, no, the point at which Javiel realises is going to be uh, a real rip-roarer. One of the vultures <laughs> has been hurt by uh, the, the elemental, but you managed to hear that some of its health points back, so that was good. If the elemental has a, a mouth that I can see, then I can translate what they're saying for you, but I can't speak back, because I don't speak no infernal, no whatever other language they're supposed to speak. Let's just see what happens. Yeah. I feel like I've seen this Till Spy map before. Mm. Vaguely reminiscent of another place you've been. <laughs> yeah, very vague, vaguely. You know when it's like the desert, you're out here a while, it all starts to look the same. Uh, yeah. Is that a Jojo reference? You guys... You see a rock in the desert three times, you start laughing. Uh, have, uh, uh, you guys have listened to the rousing speech by, by Javiel. Uh, about taking up your own destiny and and fighting for what you believe in. What, what are you guys thinking? What are you guys saying? I can't just let Jay die on his own, so... Uh, it says, I'm just not very convincing, but I suppose if you're going, we all have to go. Can't you go into it alone? I remember correctly, uh, Zirconis was very much on board. He's like, we've gotten nowhere. Was he footing around and just like dancing around the topic? Let's just head charge into one. And he loves, he loves the idea that Jay has of just going head on. Okay, so you you loading up onto vultures. The vulture. You can only get so, two people on each vulture. But you're gonna have to decide who you go with. Is the bottle just staying under under the bottles in his? Uh... He's in little form. Yeah. Well, he's like I a mean, little briefcase, but he does his arms yeah, can cool. come out. Same teams as before. <laughs> so that was me and Zero and you and Jay. There you My, go. Uh, look, if we're gonna take this thing on, my only concern is that. Well, I, I like, you know me, I like to deal with things at a little bit of a distance. Uh, things get a little too up close and personal. Well, I don't lie, that is when I start to maybe get scared again. Is it worth having a, uh, I don't know, maybe one of you brawler boys I with me and another one with Pearl? Bring his arms out. Well, he can and he will, won't you, Lotto? You, you, or we could... You're on the on the ball, but I was planning on going range the for this mission. Us, actually, the two of us that prefer distance could stay on the injured vulture. 
No, that is true. That's not a bad idea. Which should also keep its distance. Can Zero heal? Mm-hmm. Zero can. Zero can, great. Because Pearl can heal both herself and the Vulture and Jay, right? But it, it would be nice if we had a healer on the team, or someone that has the ability to heal. That is. Maybe it was the, uh, maybe it's all that rum, but I appear to have forgotten my mending spell. Uh, so if anybody remembers how that goes, then maybe they should fly with me in the bottom. I can mend. Well, looks like it's you and me then, Pearl. Did you just get Dutch courage or something, Jay? Is that is that it? Well, I, I do. I am partial to a bit of Dutch courage, as you know. But I think I might have overindulged and uh, appear to have forgotten one of my one of my spells. But I'm sure it'll be fine. And I remembered a new one. You learn a new one, or you remember a new one? I'm not sure. I was very <laughs> drunk. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> okay. All right. So... Well, then it's me. And... <coughs> Okay, I will have my short sword and my... Because we have the bag of holding on us still, right? You guys have a bag of holding We do. We did. We do. Yeah. A small mm -hmm. one. I think the 250 pound one. I forgot I gave it to you. Yeah. Uh, I will... <laughs> I forgot we had it. I will get rid like, what of am my I thinking? What was long I thinking? sword for the time being. Although I have been tempted to invest in some saddlebags for Lobotto, because he's a... Uh... Well, he's a little bit stronger than me. Yeah, I don't like you carrying all my stuff. Oh, uh, merely because I want to carry my weight, Frost, not because I don't trust you. I don't think I have the bag of holding, though. I think Pearl has it. But I don't. I don't have it. Somebody has it. <laughs> I feel like that's something we would have given to Zero. Well, whoever's carrying the bag of holding, can I recommend that you remember you have it? <laughs> I have Seeing as it's got all of our stuff in it. I keep very good track of my inventory. I definitely don't have it. I ha I keep very little track of everything I have in my inventory. Uh, let's see, that's skills of Dex, Superficial, and Six. <laughs> now I can have the Dueling Feed apply automatically, that's great. I should get that. Okay, so you guys load onto the Vultures. And then the vultures start to head up towards where the elemental is. Whoa. Obviously, I cast guidance on myself. Guys, <laughs> that's saying. <laughs> Do I? No. No, I don't. Never mind. What? No. Uh, Sorry, that was going. I was turning on my short sword because I didn't have it yet in my attack thing, and I'm now hopefully that does yeah. work great. I think we, I think we can pretty much rename guidance as Jay's self self confidence mantra. <laughs> <laughs> it's just any time there's a quiet moment, I'm going, come on, come on, Javiel, you, you you can do this. <laughs> the white bean mantra. Yeah. That's what that's what guys. The white beam words of encouragement. Right. If you cast it Everyone, on somebody else, you can see like a white beam. Uh, more going initiative. Let's do this. Right. Okay. The initiative. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's not bad. No, no, love that. No, love no, that. No, that's no, a four. No. I love to hear it. I had a seven oh, with a plus one. five, which means I rolled a two. What happens if you have initiative and you roll on that one? Does anything bad happen? It just laughs. You're no, you just got last. Yeah. Okay, so I can get... see it's like, oh, you come in a turn late. I can't see anything. Can you see anything? All this haze. <laughs> We've gotten used to it more. Uh, I got twenty-four. Twenty-four. Damn. Okay. Uh, so Neural perception. Neural perception. What did you get? Frost. Uh, I got a seven. Seven, okay. Uh, Zaconis. Twenty. Twenty, J. Nice. Four. Four. That's why I was doing that I can't see anything bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me do mine. That is... Uh, and... 
Cameras for this are quite difficult okay, to set up, well, aren't there they? Okay, we go. So. That can't be right. No, it is Pearl first. Oh, crap. Um, actually, Pearl. well, I know, actually, that, that works out okay. Works out. Um, so, Pearl is going... First of all, I'm going to check to see if any of my spells can help with what I'm going to try and do. One second. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case she's wrong, because she's surrounded by raring to go boys, she's gonna cast Comprehend Languages on herself. Okay. I knew that right. spell would come in handy one of these days. <laughs> you know I can, I have that, right? Comprehend Languages basically all the time. Um, and then would talking to we're trying to talk to it count as a bonus action? Uh, Talking's free. No, yeah, just, it's a free action. Yeah, you can just talk. Free action. Okay. Uh, so yeah, she's she's just gonna um just try and just talk to it and just say, um, I really really don't want to fight you, um. Can we talk about what's wrong and why you're hurting anyone that comes near you? Uh, That's you, it. That's all she You hear back. <laughs> what? <laughs> you won't have heard that, but stream will, and it will have been good. So go back and watch it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, from our end, it just was like, bless you. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it just, it just was a. Right. Yeah, yeah. It was um, tight. But you hear it. Was speak. it a roaring noise? It is. It is. It is like it basically just sounded like wind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but a bit more speech like wind. Uh, you can't really hear it properly. It's like um, whispers in the wind. But it, yeah, it, it doesn't seem to want to talk to people. <laughs> okay. Chill. Note it. Um, is that the end of your turn? Can you do anything, anything else? Uh, yeah, no, that's the end of my turn. Okay. The only bonus action I have is healing word. Uh... Not do a ranged attack or something. I can't do an attack. I did a spell. Okay, so oh, yeah, yeah. elemental's turn. The elemental is going to shoot fly over here and use whirlwind. Uh, so, can you two please make me a DC 13 strength saving throw? Ooh, that's gonna be relatively easy. And yeah, that's the boy. Yeah, yeah, there you absolutely. go, he's a bonus, well played. Very nice, very nice. Alright, let's kill this little bitch. Uh, Nice, okay, so you take <coughs> half damage from this. Uh, where's my dice? There it is. You take 40 damage, it's still dead. You take 6 damage. Ow. Each. That's fine. Uh, the... Vulture. Dice. The Vulture also passes and also only takes 6 damage. Uh, By the way, I should have pointed this out before. But are we tied to the ravens in any way? Or the, the vultures, the, the ladies, right? To, to nope. <laughs> can, we still, nope. can we still uh, do that? Zakonis, it is your turn. You do not have time yeah. to do that during a fight. <laughs> I mean, it didn't allow me to do it earlier anyway, so I don't think it would have allowed it now, but I would have liked it. Uh, oh boy. Real 
face, I just realized a big issue. What? My bracelet is itchy feet. I have to move. <laughs> I have to move. Shit. Each turn. <laughs> mm, shit. Is there, like, is, there, is there like a wiggle room on this bird? Yeah. So just, okay. just taking little walks up and down its spine mid fight. <laughs> just to shake off your itch. Yeah, but he... that's what I've been doing most combats, but it's just like, oh, I have Swing your feet either side of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shake like it out. Like a little kid. Let's <laughs> say so you have to be walking, it just you have to be walking. Hear me out, I do a mid air attack by jumping. Well, we'll figure it out on your turn. This is. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> this is um, he is going to kind of get his bearings, raise his hands up, and cast Call Lightning. Call Lightning. Okay. Summon giant cloud over top of us. Nice. Giant cloud. I love that spell. Ult of lightning will come raining down from that cloud. Yep. And you, Mr. Elemental, will do a mysterious saving throw. Saving throw. Uh. 16. 16. E. Rolled a nat 1. <laughs> Does it take double nice. damage then, or...? No. Oh, it's just really not getting out of the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then that will be 3d10 lightning damage. 3d10! Yes. Bloody this is hell. Why I'm, I'm not that powerful. <laughs> It is a Druid's it is a, a third level man. spell, so Druids are badass. <laughs> yes they are. And the cool lightning is like the best spell. So good. If you if there's already a storm going, you get an extra D ten of damage. Fourteen let's You don't go. have to summon. Fourteen strike down on these Let's go. Ooh, ooh. One third level spell for the day. Okay, well, that did some damage. Yeah. Um, Tried to be diplomatic. <laughs> did you though? I it tried to be diplomatic. <laughs> on, on our behalf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else you want to do? Um. No. Nope, that's it. Okay. So, it's now the Raven's turn. Uh. <coughs> Jay, well, where would you like this Raven to sort of go? Where would you want to position yourselves? Away. <laughs> uh, let's not. Let's stay within. I'd like to stay within 60 feet. In fact, ooh, no, you guys are, I, let's, 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 come on, we, you know, it's, exactly. it's on our boys, we need, get us a little closer, but not too much closer, within about 30 yeah, feet. Yeah, really, really not too much closer. Let's get us in within 30 <laughs> feet, let's close the gap. Swoop, my friend, swoop! Get this close. Uh, okay. let, me, let me give you a better view on the stream. Are you getting closer to it instead of further away? You guys are on the left, <sighs> uh, zero and boss on the right. I'm gonna have to do some precarious placement for the thing I want to do on my next turn. <laughs> uh, and that is gonna be the vulture's turn. Uh, yeah, the vulture's turn. Taking vulture, what do you guys want it to do? Melee range, preferably. <laughs> Actually, uh, Zero, what do you want to do? Because I can do both. Mm, can I do both? Probably not. No, I have to do melee range. Do you mind, Zero, if you do that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, do whatever you need to do to, to get in range. Okay, made a range. Okay. I'm just gonna smack the wind with a sword. And I'm gonna, oh yeah, it's not my turn, it's the uh, Raven's turn. It is your turn now, though. I am gonna try, is that, there, there's no way to wiggle around anyway, is there? Uh, you can, like, try. On the bird. On the bird. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll wiggle around the third, and I'll go back. We'll just say I can wiggle around back two by three position each turn. Uh, I wonder if I froze it using frozen smite, would it fall to the floor? What would happen? So I don't think that's gonna work. And instead, I'm gonna use my bonus action to cast Zephyr Strike. Giving me basically a free disengage for a minute, and for in that minute, I'm gonna have one attack uh, be done with advantage, which is gonna be this attack, and I'm gonna swing at it. Okay. Uh, with my sword. Also, it takes extra damage if the attack does hit. So that's a 23. Does that connect? Yes. <laughs> okay, great, perfect. Uh, let me see. So get 1d. Six from that, and then this is a one d eight, and I get. I'll do favored foe as well. Uh, so two d four plus one d six plus one d eight. Two d four plus one d six plus one d eight, and then also my uh, damage from the dueling feat and dex modifier. So for a grand total of. Is... 21 damage 21 damage okay very nice you uh that's one of my attacks and <laughs> it's still your sword at the air in front of you uh and it seems to have somehow connected even though this is just air it's a zephyr strike man i move like the wind <laughs> i can hit the wind uh Okay. Next up is Javiel. Javiel, what are you gonna do? Okay. Uh, I want to um, quickly grab my little wooden puck idol that I've actually hollowed out and has a little cork stopper in it. Take a sprinkling of puck holy water. Do I just see the? Do I just see the idol? I don't even know what he's doing. Do I just see him hold the idol? No. You're, you're busy. You're busy. You can't see into the <laughs> elemental. It's okay, I mean, I was... Elemental was just win. Yeah, I want a perception roll to see if I can see Jay using Puck. <laughs> Jay's uh, and I, holy water. I flick some holy water on myself, Pearl, and the Vulture, and cast Bless for free at level one. Okay. Bloop. Uh, so that will give uh, it's a concentration spell, so I'll have to hold on to it. But it's going to be any time um, we make an attack roll or a saving throw before uh, for the next ten rounds, we can roll a d4 and add the number to the attack roll or saving throw. Nice. Just oh, once or the whole ten rounds? Uh, whenever we make it for up to a minute, oh, as okay. long as I can maintain concentration on it. Okay. Well, the damage roll as well, or just the attack roll? Uh, the attack roll. Uh, attack rolls on saving throws, basically. Uh, anything else you want to do? Uh, I'd like... Um... Spark! Detach! <laughs> and he's going to detach from the back of Lobato <laughs> and uh, fly... Uh... Oh, it's just... just <laughs> we haven't got a Spark Mini, I've just realised. Just tiny Lobato. Oh, you've got a tiny Lovato. I didn't even notice that it was a tiny Lovato. That's okay. That was, that's a good stand. Uh, I'd like it to to fly and separate off from us, but stay just within thirty feet of the uh, of the elemental, please. So around here. So it's kind of like separated out from the rest of us. But, uh, around there. I would say so. From what I can see, like I say, staying within thirty feet, but. Detach. I just want to put him a little bit outside of area of effect range, essentially, from, from the rest of us. Because he's only small, like you, Spark. <laughs> okay, well, it is Lobato's turn. Lobato can't really do much, so. Lobato is uh, quite limited. Uh, yeah, it can't, like. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. In, its I, I mini, in Lobato's mini form as well, like, <laughs> all it can really do is protect you guys. 
Yeah, I get it. Yeah, he's uh, basically I'm sitting on him like almost like a booster seat. Yeah. And there's just like a set of arms that just pop out uh, from from the sides. Um, but yeah, he's, he's he's not within he's not within range. I mean, if we were in if we were, if that thing lands on the back of our vulture, he can he can lob a, a fairly mean punch. Um, but that's a but yeah, that's what it would take. All right. He's not going anywhere. Back to Pearl. Okay, um, I am going to. <sighs> How far away does it need to be? Ten foot. Okay, so like roughly ten foot above the elemental or below. Either one doesn't matter. Um. I'm gonna. Pearl, Pearl's gonna send out a, a screeching note and throw her voice for shatter. Okay. <laughs> what kind of damage is shatter? Uh, thunder, and I need a con save. That was a terrible damage roll. Oh, by the way, I dealt psychic damage. I doubt it does anything against this. But if it does, he. Uh, so what was the save, sorry? Con save. Of? Uh, DC 15. Okay, that's a pass. Face, I forgot the sneak attack bonus, so it still takes an additional 6 damage from mine as well. Actually, because I hadn't thought that yet. Wow, I'm so bad at maths. 7, so... 3 dam- 3 thunder damage. <laughs> I rolled two fucking ones oh, and a five. That's, you hate to see it. That's unfortunate. These D these fucking D eights can get fucked. <laughs> this is why I buy so many sets of dice because I get angry at them and I don't use them. Um... I get that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So one D six for me as well. Still face for the sneak attack that I forgot to roll. <laughs> Too many numbers. That, that's that's what five individual dice. Uh, <laughs> the elemental is going to use its multi attack, its slam attack. Gonna, first, it's going to slam into the vulture. Oh no! Uh, the uh, vulture yeah. is tough, and the vulture manages to raise up a bit, get its legs out of the way. Ooh. Manages to uh, evade the attack, but then it comes round for a second attack on Sakonis! Yeah. And that is. Sakonis, no! 25. <laughs> that, that doesn't hit me. <laughs> 25? Twice. <laughs> Uh, Hits. Yeah, it, yeah, you got me. <laughs> okay, you are gonna take Ooh. eight damage. Owie. Eight. Ouchies. <sighs> uh, your turn to fight back. Smack by the fucking air. Oh, all right. <laughs> um, Zirconis is going to take that hit, kind of get himself up, get himself adjusted again, and then just snap another lightning bolt down. Okay, what well, is it? Deck save? Is the deck save 16. 16. That was a nat 20. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oops, sorry. And the well, damage. The orange. Roll it. Okay. Uh, half of twenty-nine. Um. Yeah. So. Fourteen. Run it down. Yeah. Uh, Fourteen damage again. Okay. Very good, very good. Anything else? 
That is that is it for that. Nice. Uh, okay, Jay and Pearl's Raven or Vulture. <laughs> Where do you want it to go? Do you want it to just stay there? Uh, I'm happy, Pearl, but you, you. Know. I'm a progressive old fart, so you know it's a democracy on this vulture. I literally can't tell whether you're muted or just being incredibly just quiet. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm happy where we are. Okay. So unless you have a better. I plan. yeah. I mean, I I don't really want to get any closer. That's, that's cool. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Don't worry, Pearl. I'll protect you. Uh, Says Jamie thanks. for the first time in the entire campaign. <laughs> it's a and Frost. Still probably not true. Your vulture. My what hero. Do you want to do? <laughs> everybody stay here. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, you just wanted to stay there? Did we take any damage from the multi effect? I was only now trying to get the. Uh, I, I, I got hit. Taconis got hit. You no, no. did not. Uh, but it's your turn, Frost. What are you gonna do? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna recast Zephyr Strike uh, and giving myself advantage again, which is spell slot two, which is pretty bad, and swing at it again. And I think I got this work there. Right. Is Zephyr Strike a bonus action? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I hit 17, and I'm gonna roll the 1d4 just to be safe. Get one from uh, Jay. Okay. Uh, so 18, does that hit? Hang on, sorry, the, um, is this the one for Bless? Yeah. Sorry, that's only, for, that's only for our vulture. Oh yeah, you guys... <laughs> sorry, bud. Bless as well. You guys didn't get no. Bless, only JV no, we're, we're not close enough. and their, their vulture got Me Bless. But that's... why give the vulture? Right, it doesn't attack yet. So, 17? Uh, yeah, does that hit? Uh, yes, it does. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't bless it. Uh, so, I think if I now turn this, double this, and then do... So that's the damage from the blade itself. And then this is all the bonus stuff. Uh, so, 24. Which is... Uh... Hold on, hold on. Yeah, 1D... So it's 1D6 plus dex modifier plus du dueling feet for the short sword, so I roll a 2. So nine on the short sword itself, and all the spell stuff and sneak attack is so uh, twenty four damage. Yeah, of which most is slashing, and uh, a small part is psychic damage. Okay. Very nice. Uh, that works. Javiel, you are up. Okay, so. I obviously don't have many places to move, so I'm going to uh, line up my magical hand crossbow and launch an attack. Bloop. That's a 15 or 27 with advantage. Do you have advantage? <laughs> because, uh, no, I've got a d4, so sorry, 15, one, sorry, right, yeah. It's the first time I'm using these abilities. Okay, 19. Does hit. Okay. Uh, so that is going to be damage. One is plus six. Why does this? I don't know why this never will be actually just pressing the thing never works. So that's just. Oh no, it did. Hooray. There we go. One d six plus six. So that's nine piercing damage. Piercing damage. Is it piercing or is it magic because of your thing? Uh, ah, yeah. So it's. Doo -doo -doo. It doesn't say that it changes the type of damage. Okay. okay. Uh, it says it. Yeah, it, 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 it doesn't say anything in the in the infusion rules about it changing the type of damage. Obviously, I am doing it with a magic weapon. Yeah. But it's. Uh, I don't know. Does does a magic crossbow bolt, bolt pierce you, or or hurt you because magic? I don't know. Spark. Or spark. Uh, well, actually, I'm at level 5 now, so I get extra attack. So I'm going to shoot my crossbow again. Oh, go for it. 
Yeah, boy. So that's 21, which I presume hits, but get a 1d4 on that as well. So that'd be 20, 22. And then 10 piercing damage. Nice. Days and days. I'm not even done. <laughs> Spark! I've got him on the ropes! <laughs> and Spark sweeps uh, with my bonus action. They are going to uh, fire a force strike. Which is are. my... Uh, yeah, it's got a range of uh, 30 feet. So it's uh, my spell attack modifier to hit, which is uh, 8. So it's a 10 plus an 8, 18. Yeah. So 1d4 plus proficiency bonus. So no, a 1. Uh, and proficiency bonus of 3, so 4 force damage. Four force damage. And that is officially the most amount of damage I've ever done in a single attack. <laughs> Slash nice. go. 23 points. I am so happy, folks. Round of applause. Round of applause. Well done. <laughs> oh, God, I need to lie down on a cigarette, maybe a slice of pizza. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> Pearl. <laughs> yes. Okay, oh my god. Right, most of my fucking shit is psychic damage. So I'm gonna try something unconventional. But first, with my having of constant moisture and knowing of constant moisture things, can I tell if this elemental is like dry air or like damp air? You would guess from the environment it's pretty dry air. Sick, 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 sick. Okay, so I'm gonna cast Create Water above the air elemental to rain down in a 40 foot cube. <laughs> okay. In Because there's nothing useful that I can do damage wise right now, so I'm going for unconventional and hoping that this fucks it I, up. I assume <laughs> like, my of rain, gives right? it some sort of elemental disadvantage. I don't fucking know. Uh, I can freeze it after so that. that. That will have some effects, but you won't know what they are quite yet. But you That's have got fine. everybody else wet as well. That's fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you guys are all now very wet. This is how we bard, right? We get people wet. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what people need. <laughs> so it works. One way or another. <laughs> Everyone will be moist. Uh, now you know what it's like to be constantly moist. Welcome to the club. <laughs> so I may require all of you. I'll get to you later. Oh, We're busy. <laughs> Could I just like put, wait? How far away is Spark from us? Uh, Thirty feet or so. Oh, I can't reach my arm out that far. Okay, I'll the fall off the vulture. Elemental. <laughs> Sorry, Spark. Uh, is going to slam the vulture again. Uh, doo -doo -doo. That is going to hit. And it's also going to try and slam Frost this time. Okay. Uh, that is days. a 22. That does hit, unfortunately for me. Okay, so you are both going to take some damage. Oh no. 13 damage to both you and the vulture. Fucking what? Right, well, let's finish this quickly then, because I'm somewhat hurt. Well, that's not in, in immediate danger, unless it does that twice, but... <laughs> uh... As long as it doesn't do that again, we'll be fine. Yeah. As long as it two times, we'll be fine. Zaconis, you're up next. So, for the... Can you even stay stationary in the air, I guess? This, uh... 
lightning is working out pretty good. It's gonna last a while, so he's gonna keep going with it. He's wet now as well, maybe that does something. Call another one down? I don't think it will. <laughs> I don't think it does, but... Uh, call another bolt down on him. Okay. Uh, deck save of 16, is it? That is... Yep. What's his bullshit? Uh, oh yeah, okay, that's 18. Alright, so he'll take half of this. Take damage from that. So that and then eight damage? Eight damage. Okay. Yep. Sixteen he took half, so. Yeah. Uh and then he will use his um uh, Bone section to summon Aloysius out. Uh, can Aloysius fly? Uh, that's a fair point, actually, now that I think about it. It says so right here. Do, 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 do. He. Looks like he just hovers. That won't be too good. He's got a hover speed, not a flying speed. So, nope. Okay, so I won't do that. I'll hold the action. That's good. Okay, nothing else you want to do? That's it for there. Uh, the Raven. Oh, the JVL's Raven. Stay still. Move it. Um, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Ma uh, maintain range. Dakota maintain range, Vulture. Ah. Same thing. You want to stay there? Alright. At least. It's working out pretty good. Yeah. Cross, you're up. Um, it is now wet. Right? You know what I'm going to try anyway. I'm going to, instead of doing Zephyr Strike, I'm going to use my last spell slot to cast Frozen Smite on my blade. Mm. Uh, like it. And try and see if it... I don't have advantage on this one, though, which makes it perilous, I suppose. So I'm going to swing at it and see if it hits. I know it does. It does hit, yes. <laughs> Okay, I've had this exact same set of rolls before. I'm pretty yeah. The first roll I had was also 23 and 21. So uh, I think it has to make a save with the frozen smite. Well, let me see. Okay, so no, it's on its turn it takes saves to take the damage and then has to take a full action to turn it to stop it. Um, so, damage from the sword, let's do that first. And then I get, because this is different again, I get the 2d4 I still get, and the 1d6. Yeah. Ooh, that's not great damage, so that's 15. 15 uh, and it is now experiencing being frozen or uh, burns from what we have listed actually but I assume it freezes the water vapor inside it you cast frozen smite on your sword and as the frosty edge strikes the elemental you see ice start to spread all over it and it starts to freeze up it is now frozen in the air nice very nice and on each of its very turns good. it has to make a con save to see if it takes damage more freezing damage Javiel you're up uh, I mean if it ain't broke don't fix it so it's gonna be another Shot from the hand crossbow from me. Boink. 
with a D4. That's 14. That doesn't hit. Yeah, no, I figured that might be the case. You uh, fire your crossbow. Blast! Again, reload! And a blue crossbow bolt appears back in the hand crossbow. Uh, that's a 22. That is. Oh hit. shit. With 25. Uh, and attack. 12 piercing damage. You let off a magical crossbow bolt from your hand <laughs> crossbow. And as the bolt comes into contact with the ice, it just. <laughs> Shatters into pieces. I want a combo, let's go. Uh, and the elemental <laughs> is no more. It disappears. Hey, let's go. The work of three people in there. Teamwork. I'll train my frost and Jay's crossbow ball. <laughs> Spark's nice. very happy with this. Oh no, I wasn't in there with lightning. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's Bro, not like. Bro. Zaconis did a fuck ton of damage as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Zaconis weakened it, Pearl got it wet, and then Frost froze it. I and did. Jay shot it. Perfect. I think I did a total of like 50 Perfect. damage as well. I don't want to say I wasted all my spell slots, so after this turn I would have been falling on useless. <laughs> but it was quick enough, so. Wow, good fight, guys. You managed yeah, I to. Just, I, I just sat there and I was like, well, I don't think any of the dam the other spells I've got are going to do, uh, like, the damage is going to work. Cause it's mostly psychic. Because I was like, what if I get it wet? If it's already wet, what if I dry it out? <laughs> <laughs> that was oh, my logic. I think freezing it was, was. I wanted to freeze it from the start, but if it's dry, yeah, it doesn't work, right? Yeah, that only worked because of. Yeah. Bell's water. Yeah. Can we do that? We should try that with more enemies, see why it works. It would have been funny if that would have been an insta-kill from the start. So this pearl does rain first, then me freezing it, and Jay's immediately after, and we just one turn knock out. Would have been funny. <laughs> We'd have to get the lucky on the dice, though, every time. We, we should test the limit of this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason it froze is because it's very insubstantial. It's not like a, a meaty giant. Do you know no, what I mean? yeah, no, that's fair. It that's not going to work on everything. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, it would also get like... really boring. But well done, guys. Yeah. I'll just permanently have a jug of yeah. water on my side and then just use my item interaction to empty it on whatever elemental we see. And you... as. Uh, as as the the elemental sort of shatters into pieces, the vultures let out a victory, a, a nice victory screech. Uh, I'm not going to do it to save the ears uh, of people in chat. It's just a SpongeBob. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yes, they are. <sighs> They they might have a bit of respect for you guys now. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Ah, how'd you like that, my feathered friends, eh? Told you we could do it, guys! And while my hair's just blowing in the wind, I'm like really getting into it now. <laughs> the cape of billowing going <laughs> mental. Oh yeah, for sure. I I, I I literally as soon as it, I realised it was dead, I changed from the uh, cloak of many items to uh, to the cape of billowing just for this moment. <laughs> of course. Immediate costume change. Are we immediately flying <coughs> again? Uh, no, the, vul the vultures land to like have a little rest before you guys head off to fly uh, to the nest again. I want to get a long rest in at some point because I have I am useless at this moment. I have a sword. That's it. <laughs> well, it is, is getting, it is getting towards the evening, uh, so you, you you can make a decision. Long rest. So everyone's fine with that? What? Well, don't know about you. I mean, if you, if you need a rest for us, of course, that's perfectly understandable. I just, I'm oh, raring yeah, to I go over here. Uh, uh... <laughs> you should lay up the alcohol for a sec, Jay. No, I've just not been like... drinking. This is the, this is the, oh, this is the, the, the elixir of victory. Right. Pearl just like leans her forehead against your back. And it's just like, I could do with a rest too. 
Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah, no. Uh, of course. Of course. Sorry. Sorry. It's just. <laughs> you know, there's the. F- I don't know. It. Me I and Frost good. are agreeing with things more and more frequently. <laughs> I don't know if I should be pleased or concerned. <laughs> Not the least bit alarming at all. Am I mellowing him out or is he making me crazier? I can't tell. Both. I think it's, it works two ways. We're getting to a middle ground where I am slightly less insane. Reaching an equilibrium. <laughs> yeah, yeah Frost, eventually. Why don't, why don't you ask our, our vulture friends here uh, whether... Th- there's anywhere nearby that might be a little bit more hospitable for us to lay our heads for a bit. I don't actually know if I... Did we get a long rest before we did the fight? No. Nope. Then I can't speak with them anymore. Ah. I had zero I have to take care of it. Ciconis, uh, any chance you can see if there's anywhere a little bit more homey for us to put down for the evening? Yeah, I'll, I'll look into it. Turn to the vultures. Is there anywhere we can go that's you know a little bit more hospitable than this? I look if you like just flopping on the floor and resting here. Mm. Yes. We shall fly there. <sighs> Turn to Jay. Seems like they have a place in mind. Okay, then. It's got to be better than this, uh, dusty old bowl, eh? Maybe there'd be something to eat. I brought you... What did I find again? I find I found food. I remember that. I don't remember. I... More animals. Yes, well, you know how hungry I get when I've been carving a path of destruction. Are you uh, cro- are you are quite the appetite. <laughs> are you calling my cooking inedible, Jay? No, not at all. I'm looking forward to, uh... The next course. You guys, uh, I can go asking first. (laughs) I just do it now. You guys, you guys, once again, jump on the back of the vultures, and they take you. The 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 landscape that you're in is is largely quite flat, with you know the odd rock formation here. Netherlands. But eventually, after about fifteen minutes, you come up on this this giant sort of raised land mass of like orange rock uh, and in the side of this quite near the top there is quite a large cave uh, carved out into the side uh, as you land in there the the cave is it smells horrible um, it's pretty dark, but anyone that's got some good low light or dark vision uh, will be able to see that this is uh, a place where the vultures sort of bring all the dead things that they gather and sort of eat them. Uh, so there's a lot of bones around. Oh, uh, so it smells like death. Yeah, it's it's not oh, it's not super nice. Uh, but the further into the cave that you go, the less you know the wind starts to die down you can hear it less and less it's it seems like this is a good place to to stop and have a rest for us as well <laughs> like a little break or i mean just yeah we are going to go for a, a, like a five minute break oh my god i had to go to the toilet pretty bad uh well uh, yeah. it's a kindness old chap i uh i don't know how good your vulture happens to be but uh i might want to update the vocabulary for Hospitable. Don't get me wrong, I'm very grateful for the roof over our heads, but uh, we could have done without the smell. Now, which food do you think is worse, Jay? Mine or what the vultures are offering you? Uh, I, I don't know where you've got this idea that I don't like your cooking, but I certainly prefer it over a rotting corpse. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. And with that, we will go for a break. Uh, quick five minute break while, while, while we're away maybe get a drink, get a snack or consider tipping or following the rest of these lovely people all their links are below the stream uh, and I'm going to slap them in chat as well here you go um, yeah there's oh, that's not what I meant to do 
There's that. And yeah, we'll see you in five minutes. Awesome. Okay, I'll 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 keep it. I'll keep it. Okay. Um, Austin, are you telling me you spent fifty coin? Something that makes your feet itch. And it I've got a fiance for that, pal. <laughs> I'm one hundred percent certain that it also does something else. I just don't know what. Again, it's it might steal my soul. It might steal my soul. Little... It start feet. You're a natural little little start, wall you, There's one thing I do like about you. <laughs> and that is? It's going, to, it's going to be just a little wall of, like, silence, and he's just going to look those eyes and open them. It's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you have inspiration? Is that advantage or a new role? A new role. New role. I am gonna use it. Oh, DM inspiration. <laughs> a I, I twenty-one. A the twenty-one. First thing you, you, you try and slam his head down. It kind of like doesn't quite land, and you're like, "Nope, try again." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a. It's like <laughs> yeah. you uh, double whammy. You grab the barman's head and you try and slam it down onto the onto the thing, but he he resists, and then you feel, "Nope, fuck you," and you just. <laughs> Slam it. Again. Uh, and he slumps to the floor. Hand crossbow. Uh, and it also now uses, because it's a magic item, it now uses my intelligence modifier to hit. Nice. Not not my um, usual dexterity. Nice. No. It can be a bit unpredictable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so let me just make sure that it's actually going to use my intelligence modifier. Yeah, and it gets plus one as well. Uh, to hit and to damage. Uh, so, in theory, this should work. Here we go. Attack. With, oh yeah, massive modifier. Come on. <laughs> oh no. So, so that's a, num- it, it, a natural it, it, one. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, wow. Un- you hit the half elf. Unbelievable. <laughs> Come on. You... <laughs> You whip out your crossbow, you're newly I bought. Build it up. You're newly bought. Pure curiosity. Do you happen to have any more items that you were gonna to display tonight? We might be able to grab it. Generous a discount. A second immovable rod, perhaps? That we wouldn't buy at a discount. Give you an immovable rod. <laughs> <laughs> no no no. no. Because I would like to have a word with the with the the ringmaster. Can I just lift the ringmaster off his feet and run with him outside? <laughs> Damn man, you never cease to amaze. Him up. <laughs> to steal the fucking like organizer. <laughs> Steal the promoter. You're just basically scooping the ring king, that. slinging him over your shoulder in a fireman's lift, and doing one. That's what you want to do. <laughs> Coin. I'll toss a coin. All right. Oh dear. Okay. Let's see. I, as the coin goes into the air, I slap it clean out of the air. Whatever like, it lands on. Out of that, nowhere, whatever. aggressively. <laughs> like I, 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 no hesitation. As soon as I see the coin go in the air, I go no. <laughs> it just flies across the room. Frost what? scrambles over to the coin to pick it up. And... <laughs> I toss it again, and whatever it lands on, on the floor, regardless of what, if you'll slap it or not. <laughs> this time, one of Lobotto's arms telescopically <laughs> stretches from all the way up from the second floor into the door and slaps the coin out of the air. My master said that. <laughs> I'm debating whether I should use it, so here we go. Roll the 1d2. So if it's a 1... I'm gonna use it because that's probably if it's a one, I'm gonna use it. If it's a two, I'll I'll keep it for now. It's a one. We're using it. Don't (laughs) don't don't we this. This is all you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm in a bad way. (laughs) I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna heal up Jay. (laughs) What whip out my wand and with a little billow for showmanship purposes, I fire off a uh a, a, a nice a nice gaudy pink flare into the night sky, hoping that Frost will understand. What is the mm. shape of this flare? 
Uh, well, it's it's gaudy pink. It's it's difficult to achieve any defined shapes in pyrotechnics, as I'm sure you know. It uh, <laughs> takes a lot of concentration on my part, and I have had a, a night of fine whiskey. But it does vaguely resemble a bell end. <laughs> 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 nice. Remind me, what is a bell end again? The end of the end. <laughs> <laughs> ah, right. Right, right. Oh, right, honey. Right. <laughs> I, I oh, was just that's clip not that. expecting that. Oh, what fucking... about Bert? Bert is the word. And then instead of that, you say Bart. Bart is the word. Yeah. <laughs> I actually really like that one. Bart, Bart. <laughs> Oh, oh no, because I, I changed it to everyone's hard <laughs> about the bard, and then I realised what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's hard about the bard, the bard, bard, bard. Yeah, and it's, so that's not what I meant. And it's going to be stuck in my head all night now. You've actually just <laughs> whispered your own group. <laughs> my gift to you is this tiny, tiny harp. <sighs> <laughs> It's adorable. It's the it's world's smallest violin. I was just thinking the same cute. thing. <laughs> it's, no, no, I'm not giving you a sassy thing. It's, it's <laughs> next time I have an existential crisis, that's going to come out, isn't it? tell people his backstory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Normally, I would, I would laugh along and side with you on this, but I feel like after today's episode, too soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so well done. Okay, I'll 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 keep it. I'll keep it. Okay. Um, no. Oscar, are you telling me you spent fifty coin? Something that makes your feet itch. And it. I got I'm a fiance for that, pal. <laughs> I'm one hundred percent certain that it also does something else. I just don't know what. Again, it's it might steal my soul. It might steal my soul. Little... Start feet. You're a natural it's be a little optimist, wall aren't you, Frost? Of... There's one thing I do like about you. <laughs> and that is? It's going to be just a little wall of, like, silence, and he's just going to look those his eyes and open them. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> 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 You have inspiration. Is that advantage or a new roll? A new roll. A new roll. I am going to use it. Oh, DM inspiration. <laughs> a I, 21. I a the 21. You, you, you try and slam his head down, it kind of like doesn't quite land, and you're like, nope, try again. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's just a. It's like, <laughs> yeah. you, uh, double whammy. You grab the barman's head and you try and slam it down onto the. Actually, I'm not sure if I got my Speak With Animals Day 3 usage back. I'm not... I don't know. Okay, so... You guys are in the cave. Uh, you're just going okay. straight to sleep, having a rest. What are you guys doing? Recovering my spell slots. <laughs> um... Yeah. Did we level up, by the way, or uh, gain any XP? I don't know what we're at right now. You just said we leveled up last time, but that's not the number. So I don't actually know what experience point we're on. Uh, I'll sort it out after afterwards. Make a fire, see if the cave blows up due to, t I don't know, if there's methane in the air. I suppose it could blow up. <laughs> <laughs> we should find food, right? I'm sure you, you guys have some sort of rations, rations in your backpacks, surely. And you can go your way oh, without. So much in my inventory. Oh yeah, I have five ration packs. Okay, cool. I'm gonna eat a ration pack. When do we when do we get those? Oh, did the army give those to us? Um, uh, no, I got those like three towns ago and i forgot i had them but it's fine because they're basically mres so they last like forever <laughs> yeah they're just like infinite lasting <clears throat> i'll go i'll go hunting for food and we're still in the, the red haze area right uh the cave that you're in is about 700 feet up okay so we're in what mountains baby 
Presumably. Uh, well, it's it's a sheer cliff drop to the floor. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So there's no hunting for food. <laughs> no, you are in a cave in the wall of a cliff. Can I see if there's any like mushrooms and stuff growing that I could eat with like survival? You can. You, you have a look around. The 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 only sort of things that you find are like little old bits of dead animals uh, from where the vultures were feeding. Frost is used to living in the wild, but I have standards. <laughs> What are you doing uh, while you're getting ready to rest, JVL? Uh, I'm just studying my notes. Um, just mixed up one of my spells. Uh, Do you want to make that plate getting, on? Just drying off and, uh, and you know, getting a bit of WD-40 onto Lobotto and uh, Spark, obviously. Doing some Actually, <laughs> before... Before we, like, before Pearl rests, I would like... I would like to, um... Maybe get some smaller bones from some of the bone piles. Okay. Just, like, size... The kind of size that could be whittled into a shape, like an animal shape. Okay. Get a, a, a decent collect. There's a lot of them around, so you, you get a cool. decent collection of bones. Nice. <laughs> you, you, can add, you can add just bones to your inventory. <laughs> can I practice my sword striking skills on the bones just for flavour? Yeah. See if my sword can, is if I can wield it with enough strength to cut through bones. I'll just approach Jay and ask him to hold it briefly. Jay, hold this Jay. bone. <laughs> Jay, you mind holding this real quick so I can see if I can cut through? Um, yes. Of course. <laughs> you hang and do it, alright. Uh, uh, the other thing... Do I make an attack roll to see if I can cut through? Uh, no, you, you... You can just swing at the bone. Yeah. I will do just that. And I... the sword cracks it in half. You broke a bone. Very nice. That's not what I was going for. I was hoping it would just go clean through. Yeah. Like some sort of anime. But I guess I need to sharpen the blade or something. Um, is anybody making any food? No no problem. If not, I'm, I'll, I'll, I've got some rations left. But... I'm getting rather I, peckish. I just ate a ration pack. I can pray to your lord and saviour that uh, he delivers us food somehow by luring a bird in here. <laughs> I'll probably just have some rations then. <laughs> 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 no, you don't believe in fuck enough? I'll just pray to fuck. See if there's like a, a seagull or something. I don't know. That, a a bird, a crow, something that flies in. <laughs> Oh, it's the last of my rations. Hmm. Looks like I'll be back on the crab again soon. <laughs> Still got crab, have you? A little bit. A little bit. So I've been experimenting with tinning methods. Uh, Seems to make the crab last f blooming ages. Put it a few of them have puffed out a little bit, but I'm sure that's not a problem. <laughs> Pickled crab, yeah? Yes, well, you know. Sure, it's quite a delicacy somewhere. Can't see. Your you know, where I'm from, there weren't many right? crabs around. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry. We had a lot of trade, though. Uh, so, Sakonis, what are you doing? Getting ready to settle down and rest in this cave. Um. Very pridefully, tending to his wounds to make it look like it's not as bad as it actually is. Um, yeah. I, I think uh, yeah, just rest, just resting up and trying to recover from his first spell that he's cast that took a lot out of him. And it's going, old chap. Looking a bit of a bad way there. Uh, 
Mind if I have a go? Yeah, go ahead. It's not that bad, though, so... No, no. Yeah. You know, every little helps, eh? Mm, yeah. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on... Uh, on Azconis. Uh, for 12 points of healing. Nice. Cool, that was almost full health. Uh, thank you. Oh, no problem at all. So uh, I've been dabbling, you know. Any excuse to try out a new skill, you know me. Oh, very effective. Yes, I think, I think I'm rather getting the knack of it. Great work back there, by the way. Oh, you, you saw that, did you? Uh, yeah, kind of hard not to. Yeah, I really think I'm getting the hand of this this whole this whole lark, adventuring lark. It's uh, it's kind of fun, isn't it, when you get, get used to it? Yeah, times it's it pays off to just throw caution to the wind. Yeah, I'm. Starting to realise that, I think. Maybe it's time for me to just, you know, take a few more chances. Once in a while. I just cast a little look over at Pearl. <laughs> and then I see the big pile of bones in the background and I just turn back. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, you guys, you know, have your little winding down. You manage to eat a couple rations. Uh... Eventually, you will fall asleep and then have a nice long rest. And you wake up in this kind of shitty, horrible cave. Vultures are standing by the entrance. Well, uh, morning. Morning. You sleep okay? Yeah. I had this really weird dream about crabs. Ah. <laughs> the tasty tin kind, I hope. <laughs> More like sky crabs. Oh. I did say it was weird. Yes, well. It was an eventful day, sleep? wasn't it? It was. How did you sleep? Yes, yeah, not not bad. I, I don't mind telling you, I felt a little invigorated by yesterday. It's quite nice to. Thanks for your advice. It was. I think you were right. I think I need to just, you know, take a chance once in a while. Yeah. Just not normally been my thing, you know. You're a thinker, plotting. not a not a doer. Yes. You need to be more of a doer. Yeah, I feel like uh, with things going the way they have been, you might be right. Don't fly too close to the sun, Icarus. <laughs> it's funny you should say that. I've been working on some flying spells. Oh no. Oh boy. Please be careful. So Jay, you're very smart, and you definitely are thinking, although they, you sh should do some stuff more, there's probably a, an upper limit to what, how, how far you want to go with doing stuff. Especially lay off the alcohol for a bit. Oh. Yes. Uh, I mean, do, you, do you all feel this way? I think do what you, you want. get too reckless... Don't get us all killed. We definitely need your brains, because you're the smartest one in the group. I'll get you! You're a fragile boy! <laughs> For us. Thank you, thank you Jack. You remember yeah. how we've discussed sometimes it's good to not say words? <laughs> this is, might be one of those times. No, he's... Frost is right. He's got, he has a point. Uh, you know, he's got to remember my... my place in this whole group dynamic uh, don't worry I'll still be I'll be still be doing 
plenty of thinking, Jack. Don't... But, you know, sometimes it's nice to loose off a shot or two, huh? Yeah, know the feeling. <laughs> well, it looks like our vulture friends are, uh, ready to go. How f how long? It's good as you. How long is it, are we? How far away is this uh, this nest? I think it's two two and a half more days from here. Ah. Okay. Yeah. If memory think, serves I don't right, know if that includes resting. Or not. Well, there's a better settle in for the long haul then. That was the idea anyway, right? But next time, if I'm still able to speak to them, I'll ask them for something closer to the ground so I can actually scavenge for real food and not rations or carcasses. Or, well, old carcasses. Obviously, the animals were cooking. Well, that's why we have rations, isn't it? Aren't we running low on them already? Yes, had rations. More the operative word for me. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's a die. I think I ate that pie. Right. Yeah, but... Maybe it's in the bag of holding somewhere. <laughs> Where is that anyway? Just need to get oh, a few more things. I mean this thing. Yes, yeah, that's the one. I'm just gonna can have a quick just... rummage. Guys, do you know by any chance? Can I just sit in the bag of holding? Like, no. Oh, well, you can get in there, but uh, you might not be able to breathe for very long uh, anyway. Yeah, that, that is a big issue. Maybe I could fashion you some sort of snorkel. Maybe my pipe would work. <laughs> <laughs> we could just sneak people inside. We just have a bag of holding and then we deliver it to a drop. A hole. really long straw. Yes, yeah, yeah. something something along those lines. Well, if anybody sees any uh, any fields of reeds or anything like that, uh, let me know. I'll see what I can do. I can help with scavenge, probably. Hmm. Well. Um as pleasant as it is in this cave of carcasses, perhaps we should push on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But if we do see anywhere uh, in particularly fertile hunting grounds from the air, that would be a bad idea to stock up on a bit more nosh. It's not like me to travel on, on an empty stomach. I'm not sure I know a recipe for pie, Stoja. I could make a fine marinated chicken, but hardy pies are not my specialty. If you can rustle up a chicken and marinate it, I'll I can make it into a pie. I'll have to find a, a bird anyway. I think most of them taste, taste similar to chicken. You guys carry on your, your conversation <laughs> while you load up on the vultures and uh, head on out to start the rest of the journey towards the, the nest. What are you guys thinking right now about this whole situation, what's, what's going on? I'm concerned, but, uh, you know, had a little, had a little zhuzh of confidence come back. I'm very um, curious if we're actually being taken anywhere important, given how the vultures did, weren't able to put, make this journey on their own, apparently, with the elemental in the way. I'm curious to see who this master is. Yeah. Um, also, growing concern about my arm. Um, this detour, we were focused on finding whatever was at the heart of this cultist activity, and I was also hoping to, you know, have some sort of breakthrough on a cure. Um, I don't like how long this is adding to our journey when me and Zaconis are, you know, I keep thinking about that half good man back in the village. Perhaps the master is capable of uh, helping us with finding a cure, Jack. Well, let's not rule anything out, but uh, yeah, not not exactly overjoyed about uh, how long a detour this is turning into. Feel, uh, <laughs> feel really feels as though time is a factor for, for this was Kronis. This was our quickest option, though. The King's Court was further away, and the Thieves' Guild was further away, so... Yes, but, but I'm talking about going to the place where we think we might find a cure for this. Oh, yeah, the two yeah, places yeah. you've just mentioned are the are two other detours 
that we could have taken. This is the Wait, shortest of the three detours where, that we had. You mean, you mean the cult is highlight okay. is where we could fight the gear? Yes. That was super far away anyway, right? Exactly. And at some point, it feels like we've still got to get there. I'm not getting any closer to working this thing out. I said we should have gone there from the start. You guys wanted to stop the cult of spreading. Right? Shockingly enough, the back of a Volta isn't the best place to conduct scientific research. No, but I at least am able to sharpen my saw, so if you want that arm chopped off at some point, I'll make sure that it will be more painless. More painless, not completely painless endeavor, and that it won't just break like the bone you held me. Well, look, I appreciate the offer, Jack, but if it comes to that, me and Zuconis will do each other. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, um, Taconis, Pearl, what are you guys <coughs> thinking about your journey ahead? Hope we don't encounter any sky crabs. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Taconis is more just kind of, well, he's more reassured now, especially, like, after battling with the vultures. Like, they could have, if they had any intention of killing us, they could have just killed us there. Um, or just drop us from the the height and just watch us splatter on the ground. Free meal for them. So that's kind of reassuring for him. But he's even more convinced now, or like, even more convinced that like this may have been the right decision because he's he's just got a feeling about this master of theirs. He's pretty familiar with kind of communing with animals and keeping them as companions and stuff too. So. He's, he's he's got a curious feeling, but a good feeling about this master. Okay. I would like to try something, if possible. Yeah. I'd like to take a couple of droplets of the two mystical potions, the green potions, that I retrieved on our travels many moons ago now. And because I still haven't worked out what they are either. Just in the out of sheer curiosity, and uh, you know, if you trying want to everything. Try them first. I'd like to try just dropping a little drop of that potion onto uh, a small sample of necrotic flesh from my my wound, just to see if there's any sort of reaction. Um. Okay. Give me a Dex saving throw. Oh shit! Uh, equal to your own spell casting score. Okay, so I need to give you. Uh, I'll do the deck saving throw first. This is not going to be good. Fifteen. Okay, what's your spell casting ability score? My, sp spell uh, my, my spell or... attack is that my spell attack bonus? Yeah, yeah. Spell attack bonus is eight. So that's what you're in. Your what's your spell save DC? I knew you were going to say that. That's yeah. sixteen, you bastard. That's the one. That's the one I'm looking for. You still have to bless up. This is saving tray, right? I don't have bless up because it only lasts for uh, an hour while I'm concentrating on it. You oh, sorry, no, a minute while I'm concentrating on it. You take two lightning damage as a zap of lightning. Erupts where the splash drops. Is it wrong that I still want to drink those potions? Well, that was painful and interesting. Did anyone else see that? Did I'm just we, checking us on my eyebrows. Can we just say I did? I mean, whoever's on the vulture with Jabril. That's, that's me. That's me. Me. <laughs> Oh no, that's you, yeah, true. I'm with Zero. I'm sure yeah. Javiel made enough noise to to alert everybody. <laughs> there was a there was a slightly effeminate yelp. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you uh, well, okay back there? Uh in a little bit of pain. Um I was just dabbling with those potions I found. And they appear to have a rather violent reaction with the uh, our condition, Sigonis. Let's put it this way. I, 
I wouldn't put it. I wouldn't pour it on there neat. I'd like to have a look at uh, what's left, though. Can I cure anything? Uh, is there any sort of, you know, like leftover residue? Like, what's happened to the, uh, the sample of necrotic flesh? Nothing. Is it just... That's just... So it's still <laughs> fine. The potion just exploded. Yeah. Uh. Mm. Well, I don't think I've found a treatment. I may have found a rather impressive d distraction. Can I suggest we don't drink these straight away? Aww. <laughs> That's all I was saying. Don't well, you might be fine. Me. You're not infected. Oh, yeah, that is true. You want to put a drop on my arm as well? See if it does anything different. As unethical as it is, I'd be lying if I said no. <laughs> <laughs> this has nothing to do with moral. It's just, ah, oh, in frosting damage is a good thing. <laughs> Fly over here. Come, come closer. I'll pass it over. All right. Can we do that without messing up the vultures? You can try, yeah. <laughs> you reckon if you just put in like the cork and you tie it to a rope, you can try and swing it open and if it misses, you can still like try again. I can try. A little frost fishing. Okay. <laughs> well, we've got a while to kill. Why not, right? Let's tie yeah. a bit of 50 foot <coughs> rope. <coughs> Around the uh, my little my little flasky thing, it's like, just just come underneath. All right, yeah, oh, that works too. Yeah, actually, I grab it. Port side, port side a little more. There's a wind. Yeah. Okay, it's coming to you. Uh, I think I got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I yep. got it. Yep, yep. Okay. I have it. All right, just a drop on the skin, right? It's what you get. Just a drop. All right. And watch out for electricity. I still feel very inclined to just drink it, but I will just pour a drop on the skin. That's all I'll do. Just pour pour out a drop onto my skin. Okay, give me a deck saving throw <laughs> equal to your spell <coughs> you see. That beats it. <laughs> what did you get? 27. <laughs> okay, yeah. I think that's fine. Uh, You take one lightning damage. That's it. <laughs> Erupts on your skin. Oh yeah, tickled a bit. It's feeling a bit numb now, actually. What is this again, Jay? Well, I don't know. I've been trying to work it out. You reckon with the little lightning spark? Who had the the lightning egg again? I think it was Jay, right? Uh, out of That's character. me. Yep. Yeah. You reckon you should pour this stuff on your egg? Maybe it'll respond to it. You know, it's I one of the say, vultures, that's not a terrible idea. One of the vultures at the mention of eggs says, Eggs! We like eggs! What you for your eggs, huh? Eggs! Think... No, no eggs here. No eggs. Also, nope. they cannot understand human common language, can they? Because they had issues with that before. They've been only speaking vulture to us and only speaking to me and Zaconis. So well, they... only Zaconis will be able to hear what these guys are saying right now. <laughs> but they they can 100% understand you. Uh, okay, well, that's unfortunate. What are they, what are they saying, uh, Zaconis? Uh, nothing, just crazy talk about eggs. Oh. Yes. Yes. Tell them eggs would be wonderful. I still haven't had breakfast. <laughs> if they know where we might get some. Hmm? Do you know where we would find some eggs, vultures? They just, they look at each other and then they do like a vulture like laugh. You you assume it's a laugh, but it's it's a very horrible noise, just like a guttural <laughs> like <laughs> Alright well they I'm, I'm gonna re eggs, can, can I reel this back up now, Jack? What do you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, it's yours. So I'll just let go of it and I'll let you reel it back up. Hmm. Huh. Pop it back in my bag. Okay. That was uh, an exciting. I'll make a mental experiment. note to try that experiment away from the vultures. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you guys continue flying. You know, there's 
it starts to get towards the evening, you settle down, you find a nice spot to rest, uh, and then you pick up again the next day. Uh, you guys have been flying for quite a while. Somewhere around, I assume, sort of midday ish, uh, the vultures start to steadily climb in altitude. Uh, the floor is well the ground is gone you cannot see the ground anymore it is just you know when you're on a plane and you look outside and there's just fucking clouds everywhere mm -hmm. it's that beautiful, you are beautiful. you are up pretty fucking high um, there's also pretty low visibility in front and behind you and just all around because this weird haze that's everywhere. Do these birds even know where they're going? <laughs> oh, they're just flying up. The birds seem to know exactly where they're going. Um, and as you start to question their ability to navigate this place, um, everyone give me a perception check. Because... I know. What have I done? What have I summoned? 13. Perception. <laughs> 22. Well, 15. 15, okay. Uh, Carl, uh, Frost, and Zaconis. Sort of in the middle distance, you spot. Uh, it's very, very small at first and starts to get more and more into view and it, it's a thin dark line cracking through the haze and the sky um, and as you start to get closer you see further away to your left and right more of these these lines sort of splitting the sky uh, you get closer and closer and eventually you realize they are the tips of giant dead tree branches that extend for a good few hundred feet. Uh, I, I think we've reached the edge <laughs> of the world and you as you start as you make your way further and further through the branches they, they start to get thicker and thicker uh, they you know, there's lots of them twisting around each other, sort of getting more and more uh, entangled and, and closer together uh, until eventually you find yourself faced with a giant wall of uh, massive dead twigs that uh, make up the shape of what you would expect to be a nest it's just about a hundred feet tall and the radius is insane it's it's massive it? Uh, it even makes the vultures look small comparatively you can only assume you are outside nest uh you are around two to three thousand feet in the air uh yeah it's a it's a fucking tall tree and it is massive <laughs> this is actually very excited it's the biggest tree he's ever seen he's seen a lot of trees <laughs> i want to burn it I really want to set it on fire. I assume lightning has must have struck occasionally here as well, so it probably will be fine, but I kind of <laughs> want to set it on fire. Pearl is just like tightly gripping onto the back of JBL's back, trying not to throw up because this is the highest she's ever been in her entire Like, <laughs> she could not fathom being this high and this yeah, away I... from sea level before. How high Holy are we? How much marijuana have we had? Uh, 
<laughs> no, you, you, you lost the tea, remember? And tea's gone. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, what altitude are we on, though? Like, roughly? About two, <coughs> about two and a half K feet. Okay, yeah. Pretty high so, up. For me, this is. I've like still got one calming tea bag, by the way, actually. This this thin okay. amount of. This thin amount <laughs> of it. air and oxygen that's in the air is like just completely normal for Frost since he grew up in high altitude mountains. So I'm perfectly fine with this. Oh, well, very not fine. I'd probably be enjoying massive this. Birds. <laughs> massive tree, I, I, I guess that tracked. I don't know why I didn't think this was. Think about this before. I think I'm gonna throw up. You reckon these oh. are just young Jones, the the vultures? If the Bill, nest is this big, I'm sorry you're not feeling well. But if you if you are going to be sick, please please do it over the side of the vulture. I, I just washed this this neckerchief. I, I will. I will. I will. Please. We are very very high. The vultures land on. A, a giant branch, which at the base of the branch you can see a big opening, wall, nest. Uh, this branch is probably about 40, 50 feet thick, uh, and getting thicker towards where the where it connects to the trunk. Um, but yeah, you are on relatively solid ground right now, just very, very high up. Again, normal for frost. So I guess, I guess we've arrived. Uh, oh, and I'm just gonna give Pearl a hand off the, <clears throat> off the back of the vault. You okay, you look a bit wobbly. You're just like, gonna cling onto your arm for dear life, and just say, please don't let me fall. It's okay. It's okay. It's, look, look at the size we of this thing. We'll, we'll be fine, I'm sure. I'd really rather not look at the size of this thing. Just, just focus straight Look ahead. ahead. Mm. Uh, was... At least there's water around. Yes, that's right. right. There's the water clouds. around. Chaps, uh, how far are we from the actual nest? Uh, I think our, our friend is getting a little bit nervous. We are quite high up. To, I'll leave this to zero so I can keep my spells for when we're talking with the master. Smart. Zero has done limited, right? Is that... Hold on. What? Uh, you, you've got unlimited torch animals, right? Make sure I wasn't muted. <laughs> so I, was, I was yeah. muted for a minute there. So where are we uh, headed from here? Is the nest far? Just don't want to be out on this uh, branch for much longer. Well, you, you, you can see um, the, the entrance to the nest, the big hole okay. in the wall, it's about 100 feet down. It's a pretty, it's a pretty like, flat surface. It's not on an incline or anything. They, this branch is clearly used purposely the for strip. the flat surface. Uh, as, as you're, like, walking towards the entrance, you can hear... All the branches around you sort of creaking and whistling as the wind blows through them. It doesn't Even seem to 50. be a lot of a lot of movement that you can feel, uh, but there is definitely a sort of as you're walking, a, a, maybe like a swaying, very very subtle. Barely feel it, but it's it's like being on a large ship. <laughs> Reminds me of some of the bridges we had in Altaria, the the wooden ones, the overhangs. They were stable enough. I'm sure these branches are as well. Well, I'll just take a deep breath. Oh, in. they're very sturdy. I'll just take a deep breath in and appreciate the the colder air that's probably here, and I, I just like do it at home. Anybody see any more of these vultures around? This master, do you think he's just master of two of them? Mm. A master of two is still better than a master of. Only the two vultures, right? Do we see any more things? Uh, you currently can't see any vultures around. No, I don't see any. Hmm. Well, guess we're going to see this master then. 
Onwards. Uh, Looks the boss, like right? this would be the spot. Uh, go up ahead a little, won't you? Won't you? Yes. Uh... I'll be barging in straight because Frost is like, ah, oh, I love this environment, so I'll just be going through the phase as fast as I can. <coughs> Some extra vitality. You all make your way, uh, vultures head up your party as you're you're walking towards the nest. Uh, you get you walk up to the wall, the opening. Uh, you when you look up, it's 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 impressively big. This this fucking place. Uh, <sighs> And as the the sort of haze clears around the door, you walk inside and you are met with a sort of it's a large sort of imagine a coliseum shape uh, with but it's all it's all a circle and it's got a uh, sort of a bowl shaped incline towards the middle and then in the middle there's a large flat circular surface which is sort of the top of the tree trunk um, <clears throat> there are uh, large bone structures around sticking out of the top of the trunk uh, which you can only really imagine how they got stuck in there uh, they are quite a lot of vultures in here I'd say, if you were going to stand and count them, around 60. Uh, Can we get like nine more, please? They are all just uh, <laughs> either sleeping or eating or just, you know, doing doing vulture stuff. <coughs> uh, I think we found the rest of the vultures. <laughs> I think so too. Face, are there any like uh, skeletons stuck in a certain pose? Uh, still, most of the bones are either giant bones sticking out of the, the tree yeah. or just scattered everywhere. There's no full okay. skeleton. So I can't because I'd totally be the, the type to see like a skeleton with a weird pose and just stand next to it and do the same thing. You can also, uh, the, these giant bones, they're probably. Think of like, um, you know, when you go to the, the Natural History Museum, like yeah. a massive skeleton. Think like one bone the size of that whole T Rex skeleton, like a rib bone, fucking massive. Can uh, I uh, nature check that and see if I can have a stamp of what it might have been? You can try. Yeah. Does it do the same? Give it a go. Twenty-one. Is it what? What are we rolling? History, nature, nature. Okay. I'll roll but that's nature worse, check. actually. I'm I pretty think. good at nature. I oh, know it's the same. A sixteen, which is not too bad for me, actually. That's always a nat twenty. But okay. Well, with a twenty-one, you have no idea what this could have been. Only that something even bigger <laughs> must have killed it and put its bones here. The tree is alive. It is the master. <laughs> I've spent a lot, quite a lot of time <laughs> studying uh, studying the animal world, uh, folks, and uh, what I've managed to discern is that uh, it might be in the shit. Let's hope this master is actually everything they crack up to be. Because in my expert's opinion, whatever killed this thing was fucking massive. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon I would really like to not there? end my life as being part of this tree nest thing. That would be great. Uh, those I fucking agree. assassins lied to us. They said we, we were the first people here, but I see also human bones scattered around the place. The vultures oh. were invited. <laughs> the vultures sort of motion for you to follow them down to the middle area, which is sort of looks like a, a gathering area. There's, you know, there's 
You wouldn't expect to see any furniture here, but there is furniture here. There's uh, a big um, sort of chair off to one side that is that has a long table next to it. Um, and what you you can see a sort of hole leading down into the trunk over on the other side, uh, but the hole doesn't look big enough for any of the vultures to fit in. Is there like a door type thing as well that we should knock on first? Well, you guys start to follow these vultures down to the middle. Uh, you, you get there and they, they sort of tell you to wait. And as you're waiting, you're like, what's, what's going on? Why are we here? Who's, who's this master? Oh, yeah. And then you hear the sound of giant fucking wings flapping, flapping down, descending from above. Um, yeah, this vulture is about three times the size as all the other ones. It is huge. I'm disappointed because I was low key expecting this certain owl to just fly down instead. Uh, as it floats down towards the, the the tree into the nest, uh, it is it is something to behold. This this giant vulture is it is scary as fuck. Uh, he lands with a giant <laughs> thud. Uh, you don't feel the tree shake all that much though, um, as you would have expected, and. He lands probably about... Javier can feel Pearl jump. <laughs> <laughs> he lands about 60 feet in front of you. And Is that his feet landing 60 feet in front of us, or his head being 60 feet in front of us? His, as just big as he his is. Whole, his whole... Yeah, he's just 60 feet away from you. Um, and as he lands, he sort of does a little feather rustle. Uh, and he starts to shrink before your very eyes uh, green sort of twists of energy start to form around him he, he gets smaller and smaller and smaller smaller and smaller and smaller uh, until standing before you once the energy and magic clears is a very very old very decrepit looking dwarf. His, Johnny Buckle. All his hair is grey, uh, unkempt. Um, his eyes are very small and sunken in. Uh, he's got very like massive bags under his eyes. He he looks quite frail. Um, he's wearing a sort of tattered grey hooded cloak with, with holes in it. Uh, there's, uh, he's got a necklace of, of bones with a, an amulet. <coughs> uh, it's a big sort of ruby set into a gold diamond shape, uh, surrounded by bones and, and, and trinkets. Mm. Uh, and green, he has yeah. he has a a little gnarled uh, walking stick he uses, uh, and the the vulture turns to Zaconis and said, "The master is here." I'll just use my free spell as well. This is the I don't know if the master is going to speak vulture or not. So I'll activate that now. Okay. Well, I think this is the man we came to see, guys. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I expected this much. His, his beak was... When he was in Vulture form, his beak was... I'd say it could eat one of us whole, probably. 100%. Right face? Is, I, I assume his beak was taller than 
maybe one or two of us stacked on top of each other. He he could eat one of you whole, yeah. I'll just walk up to him and I'll just say in dwarfish, looking a bit grim, don't you? Well, isn't that rude? I can't even intervene because I don't speak stupid dwarf. Neither do I. <laughs> Neither do I. I don't know how much mortal peril he's putting us in. That's the I only have thing. no idea what he just said. Bring your friends. Alright, guys, he says, he says we should follow him. <sighs> did he say that that's rude in Dwarvish as well? Did he say that in common? Why did he sound irritated? What did you say? <laughs> Nothing much. I just called his attire a bit grim. What did? Why? Frost. Um, hello, sir. Um, <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, quite the entrance. Hello. Hello. I You're like home. to make an entrance. Well, mission accomplished. Your home what? is very big and high up. Come. And You're very inclined to like a mint or something. Come, come. And he beckons you towards the hole in the tree that he, he starts to. Um. I'm gonna follow, but. Pearl is, Pearl is still holding on to JBL's arm. I'm, I've also just slightly <laughs> nudged Motto in front. He's taking. He's just stepping, walking in front of us. Not that we're not, uh. I'm obviously, I'm very honoured by the the invitation. Um, my friends and I, we, you know, can't help but wonder uh, what it is we might be able to do for you. I mean, he's such a such an impressive setup here. Uh, we were curious. All shall be revealed. Yes. Uh, well, come, well, good. Come. Yes. Going far? <laughs> Keep following him, which is like. <laughs> he, uh, he leads you guys down a, a set of stairs. Um, at the bottom of the stairs, it seems like there is just a wall there, and then he says some words of a spell, and the wall opens up, and you all step into. Uh, this room here Put up yeah. on Taylor's fire. Do I recognize this room? You do not recognize this room. Okay, it's not the wizard's weird <laughs> cage. Uh, I should have. <laughs> uh, yeah, he he sort it's of. Can imagine that he just he just turns <laughs> uh, he turns again and just goes hello. <laughs> It's just a wizard. It would be funny. I don't have the best mini for him, so I'm just going to use this one. Um... I think that sells it. Well, <laughs> did you know dwarfs are still medium sized? Mm -hmm. uh, once you get, you that. once you all get yep. into the room, he turns. <sighs> says, so you must have questions. Well, if you me? come to mine, <laughs> yes. Uh, why did you want to see us? Being, I think probably the main one. Mm. You have knowledge that I seek. Oh no! Knowledge about what? This blight. That has ravaged the land. Oh, well, we've reached a bit oh, of a dead end that. That as well. We're trying to cure it, and there's some crystals. That's all we know. But we haven't gotten a cure yet, and the crystal smashing a crystal only seems to halt it. Hmm. There what? is no cure. 
Well, don't, don't, sorry. I can be a little impatient. I mean, I'm sure there is a cure. I'm just working on it, that's all. And we, we discover more information every day. Um, yes, great progress. Um, but yeah, the, the solution does elude us for now. There are some other people we were meant to meet up with that might help, be able to help us get more information, though. I'll, I'll whisper to Jay uh, so that, and I guess Pearl as well, because they're near. Uh, I'll just say, you reckon if we just tell him where we expect the cultist hideout to be, he just swarms it with all the, the vultures? Well, well, maybe. I mean, yes, it certainly seems like we might be an ally, so let's work on keeping him on side, okay? Yeah, yeah well, we can tell him that information now, right? Isn't it, it, no matter what he does with it, Let's just feel the situation out a little, shall we? To... So, um, it's... If you, I presume, then, you've been looking into this problem as well. I have been concerned what is going on, but I cannot go down to the ground. Oh, well... Why not? You don't mind. Yeah, if you don't mind us asking. Mm. Have you ever heard of the tree oh, yeah. of Skarnul? The who what now? You cut out for a bit for me anyway. The tree of Skarnul. If you want, if you guys want to give me a history check. Why does a ranger have advantage on this? No. Fuck. That is a nat twizenti. That is a nice. one. <laughs> I just got 11. That's a 10. Okay. Uh, I'm a lot of twos and a lot of 19s today. But never me and Zaconis basically no magical trees exist and that's about it. <laughs> that's yeah, the extent of it. <laughs> I would know magical trees exist, but I, I clearly don't know this one. Existed. As soon as he says the tree of Skarnul, I get very excited. Yeah, you you will have heard this is a very uh, obscure sort of legend um, uh, myth that was supposed to have occurred uh, not too long after the whole world got reset. Um, this this tree basically this whole country that you're in used to be um a lot more vibrant and and sort of there used to be plants and life here um and the 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 druid Skarnul uh who was studying decay magic uh basically was banished from where he lived and he made this tree grow massive and mass like fucking huge the tree that you're on now you know how big yeah. it is he's in it uh and basically cast a spell so that no one could ever find it uh and he now is basically banished to live there for, for however the fuck long he's ever gonna live <laughs> it's it's just jay that knows his information right yeah just jay it would have been you would have heard this as like a story in a pub somewhere or maybe like as a like as a children's story like something like that yeah, no, my mother told me about this one. She was only used to take me on the nature walks. It's your elder's royalty coming through or something. So, am I, am I right? Are you, you telling us that you're Skarnu? The Skarnu? What is this story, yes. James? Um, I'll... So, if, if you really are Skarnu, um... You wouldn't know an awful lot about decay magic. Yes. From what I've heard, I, I, I'm sure 
I'm sure there were all sorts of details missed out, people misrepresented, and so on. But uh, that was your specialty, wasn't it? Mm, not quite. My specialty was life magic. But as I started to study life, the cycle of decay became ever more evident to me. The people were not happy about my methods. And what exactly did you do? That is not a story for now. Well, if, if anything, if anyone can appreciate, uh, you know, one's methods being sometimes misunderstood, perhaps being, you know, even, even feared, uh, I, I can absolutely understand. Uh, you know, we've all been there. Apparently, some of us more than others. But, uh, you know, can relate. Can I ask, the, what was his name again? Scar Newell. Scar, can I ask Scar Newell a question about hearing that he's had to do with life magic? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We've been to this town called Damp Lily. It was Damp Lily, right? The weird overgrown one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you don't have anything. You don't know anything about Damp Lily, do you? Like how that came to be? Because I heard there was like a wizard or a druid that found the weird lily and then made the entire city with overgrown plants, which seems kind of on brand with the big ass tree. <laughs> he. <laughs> Uh, he laughs. <sighs> yes, many secrets there. A dark place it is. And they broke my notice sending. <laughs> Still mad about that one. <laughs> well, I suppose back to the matter at hand then. I mean, we I. If you really want to stop this this blight and you've definitely got you've definitely got allies in us uh, I I think I'm going to reveal my arm to hey, it your arm that was way better than I was imagining it was going to happen <laughs> yes I know of this you show me yours and he points at Zaconis We think we managed to stop it for now, but obviously it is a source of some concern. Stop it. How? Oh. I'd say it's more of a slow it, actually, right? Well, thanks. It yes, might I mean, have something to do with right. the crystal that we broke, right? Did seem to stop being aggressive around that time. Mm, the crystal, no. yes, but... That will not stop it. Then why did we break the crystal I, anyway? I did oh, something God. else to stop. I'm trying to remember how I did uh, slow it at the time. Your it was just dragon eggs. magic. I'm is... looking in my notes. Yeah, the eggs. Mm -hmm. yep. But I'm eggs. trying not eggs to say that to the yeah. creepy vulture man. <laughs> Good genetics. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, healthy living. Mm. We I did wash see. away the spores as soon as they came, like, appeared. It wasn't quite fast enough, but maybe that had something to do with it, too. Just a lot of little things, I think. Uh, give me a... <laughs> Just... Deception. Just before you're, as you're working out DC for potentially this, I did do something. I can't remember what it was. All I've written in my notes is I can take a hit of poison and not die. And there was a reason for that. I think you cast just wish for the life. Of me. There was some, yeah, there was some spell casting. There was some consumption of something. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't just my 
Yes, I did. I proactively did something other than just think about my egg. Okay. Uh... <laughs> and I would tell him that happily <laughs> if I could remember what the pig it was. Give me a oh. deception. <laughs> Regardless of that fails, nineteen. I'm probably gonna pull out my egg anyway. Uh, I'm going to just the guy will do kill. this. Bloop. Uh, sixteen. Say that. Come on, Jay. You can lie about this. We shall see if what you say is true. Oh no! Can we consider you an ally? I am nobody's ally. For as long as this plague is ongoing, can we consider you I an will enemy of our enemy? Work then to get rid of this plague. Well, but I will not protect you. I will not fight for you. Care. Is there anything we can do to uh, earn a favor of you? Because surely one such as yourself can be beneficial to our cause, maybe later as well. And perhaps that's something we can do. Because you can't leave the tree, right? I wish to know more. Step up to the crystals. All of us? Or just the two that are infected? All of you. I guess I'm going to do that. it. Um, I want to know more as well. Yep. Yeah. I'll go with them. Okay. I assume it's this gaudy pink crystal. You guys all walk up the crystals. Uh, this seems like some sort of shrine. Uh, some sort of channeling for, for magic energy. Uh, Lobato tries to walk over the bridge but is stopped by some sort of invisible force. He, he can't, can't get over. Uh, Scar Null walks up, stands on the bridge, and asks you all to turn face towards him. And he begins chanting. Uh, he begins weaving a an ancient spell uh, as he begins to chant you see magic tendrils forming on the rocks and uh, on, on either side of the crystal I kind of want to roll away is that an option? and they start slowly making their way towards the crystal and as they connect a force field of pink energy forms around you lot and the crystal. Uh, and you... Everyone give me a constitution saving roll. That's not my greatest Oh, oh that is a nat one. Oh no! 20. Let's go. I feel like that should be uh, 20, 20, 20, no, no, no. 17. Okay. Uh, oh, where is. We should have probably split the group in two still. Although he probably wouldn't have led us anyway. Led us? Led us? Led us? Led us? Trigger word. <laughs> yeah. I had lettuce today. What? Lettuce? Had a ham, lettuce, and mayo wrap. Uh, two ham, lettuce, and mayo wraps for. Stop lunch. it, I haven't eaten. Uh, I've, I've only got a few Ritz crackers over here, and I don't want to yeah, eat them out of courtesy to Facey Stream. Uh, <laughs> I'd really want to eat them. I'm going to eat one. Okay. Just have a. Uh, just have a don't... Okay, well, the Jay, crunching was unnecessary. <laughs> Zaconis and Pearl, you all start to feel very weak, and as much as you fight it, you all, one by one, eventually pass out. Uh, right, am I just like on top of JV? Because yeah, I was you, still holding on to him. You guys all, yeah, you guys yeah, all basically... You've got to go. <laughs> must, be, must be the altitude, just, right? Just like... Drop. Yeah. Um, 
Frost, <laughs> you manage to fight it a little while longer and you, you see everyone dropping around you. you. You try to react, but as you go to reach out towards them, you too drop. Can I do one thing before I fall? What do you want to do? I'll just look at the guy and say, you motherfucker. And then, and then <laughs> uh, you all uh, reappear and wake up in here. Da -da. You are theory of world. <sighs> this seems like a tutorial room where you talk to the spirits <laughs> and then each one tells you a different basic game mechanic. Javiel. <laughs> yes, sir. You recognize this room. This is a room that you spent a lot of time in. It is one of the rooms in the pub that you frequent back at your hometown. Uh, the ghostly visages that you can see in the room uh, each look like a person from your past. Oh, they don't shit. seem to react to you guys appearing here. Does, are we dead? Does any... Anybody a uh I'll see these these respecters? Yeah, I, I can see him too. Yeah. Are we in the underworld? Are we dead? Well Sabine. if this is the underworld, it does look remarkably like my old local. And these is, these are angels of death. They look rather like some old acquaintances of mine. Reckon they sell beer here then? I mean, even in the underworld, they gotta have something to keep you occupied, right? Well, didn't you just tell Javiel earlier to stop well, drinking so much? Well, if we're so dead much? anyway, there's no more risk of dying, is there now? Is it wrong that Frost makes more and more sense to me the longer we spend out here? <laughs> I've been anyway. questioning the same thing. I don't know about wrong, but concerning comes to mind. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to uh, approach very tentatively one of the, uh, the specters. Um, they're ladies, aren't they? Yeah, these are all the people you slept with. <laughs> uh, the... I can't rule it out because I know my character and I know face. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll approach the hottest one. You, you, you approach one <laughs> and you recognize them as girls that you have definitely hit on, on the, in the past. Um, oh, no. But it might not have gone <laughs> the way you wanted it to due to Due to, you know, self confidence issues. <laughs> as as I get as I get closer, I, I I turn to Frost and go. Okay, it might be hell. Uh, when the fuck did I end up in hell? I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk, just kind of trying to stay calm. I'm actually, just gonna walk over to the door, and just try not to make eye contact with any of them, and just be like, just try the door. <laughs> Door does not move. Can I? Can I? Can I just walk up to a ghost and do like they're waving my hand in front of their face, see if they respond, and if they don't, try to push it through them. Uh, yeah, you. Nothing happens when you wave in their face. I'm but I can to... push through them then, apparently, right? If they are um, incorporeal, you can walk through. Them. I'm going to approach I'll just walk the one. Back and forth. Look at me. I'm going to approach the one I have the least cringe memory of. <laughs> okay. None of them. No. Which, which I, will, I will leave up to you which one that is. <laughs> you can go to this one. This one. Okay, okay great. Yeah. Martha! 
Long time no see. Um, hi. Hello. Hello. Um, what are you doing here? And, uh, where's here? Here is you. Why is my son... Well, you broke up there, face. Yeah. yeah, I broke up just a little bit there. All I got was you. <laughs> you. Here, here is you. you. Is he doing okay? Oh, dear. And... This here is is me. Oh, apparently, do these do these are you guys hearing what they're saying? Because they're obviously not responding to to the rest of the party. But they they can hear. But yeah. they can hear. Okay. <clears throat> um. Well, I don't really know. I've been trying to get out of myself for some time. Uh. With limited success. So I'm not quite sure how to handle this. Can you show us a way out? The way out is through you, through your heart. Hmm. Oh, where's the bottle? I'll I'll reach. I'll walk up towards Jay and just start poking him as well to see if I can go through Jay's as well. Stop it! Not not helping! I'm... I figured if I could move through them, maybe you could reach your heart as well, if we're dead. <sighs> well, apparently not. No, it's just... Um... Pray to Puck? <laughs> oh, don't start with that! I'm going to just go, well, thank thank you, I'll go to one, the middle one. Hi. Hi, Cassandra. Good to see you. Hello. Saw Marsha over there. Been a while. So what you been up to? doesn't respond. <laughs> yes, I seem to remember this is how our conversation went last time we met. Um, look, me and my friends here, we're, we're having a bit of a day, and uh, apparently this is me. Um, but I don't, I've never really understood me. Don't like spending a lot of time here, if I'm quite honest. Um, so maybe you can you can help. Any... any help you can offer me about how we might get out of here? You must steel yourself for the task at hand. Ah. You lack confidence, Javiel. Well, I've been working on that. A task, you say? There is a long road ahead. You must be ready. Right. Well, yes. Well, you know, I've been, I've been, I've developed a mantra. I've been working on that. You know, come on, Javiel, you can, you've got this. You know, uh, it's been going quite well. Uh, any clues about this, this task when it might be coming up? I really would like to crack on. Ah. Uh, okay. Um. Well. See you in a bit then, I suppose. And then over to the other spectre. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> I <love it. laughs> Hi there. Uh, yes, Eleanor. You remember me? Hello. Javiel. We, uh... We went to the thing. Look, I know that didn't go very well. Um, I don't know how much of you really remember. Um, sorry about all that. Nah, wasn't having the best best of weeks at the time. Um, 
Did you ever manage to get that out of your dress? You must learn to let go of the unimportant. Hmm. Yes, well, you know, you never know when the unimportant's going to be important. It's part of what I do, you know. The little details, oh, oh, you know, finding the little connections. If I just start ignoring the little things, then, you know, what, what if I miss something? Some things will not be missed. Or is as it should be. Well, that's easy for you to say. You're clearly happy here, you know, whatever this is. Me, the pub. But, you know, what if one... If I'm, you're not happy, what do you do then? You know? Hmm? Not always that easy, is it? Clear your mind. You will find the answer. Okay. Ah. Right. I'm really embarrassed. Uh, uh, I kind of like turned to the. Uh, well, gang, uh, you may have figured out that these are, uh, your exes. <laughs> no, no, never really got that far. Um, you didn't get that far. That's quite unlike you. Well, look, I know I sometimes come across as, you know, I can come across as quite dapper and all that, but yeah, it hasn't always been smooth sailing for me, if I'm honest. This is Marsha, that's Cassandra, and this is this is Eleanor. Or some version of them. I think they're the versions of them that live in my head. None of them are very particularly good conversationalists, if I'm quite honest. Might have been why we didn't hit it off in the first place. But anyway, I think we're in my brain somewhere. Apparently, I've got to do something with my heart. There's a task coming and I've got to empty my mind. So, you know, is you need to, like, any suggestions? Is there something like to, like, meditating? Well, that could work. I've never been very good at that. I mean, I maybe, try. Listen to you, maybe listen to your heart. And maybe that's telling you to do something specific in this room. That will probably solve it. It's telling me I wish we were in the part of the pub with the bar. No, that's your brain. Because that's logical. Point. That's logical. You gotta think illogical, un unlogical. I don't, I don't know. Emotional, I think, is the word he's looking for. Well, whenever I get emotional, it all goes wrong, doesn't it? You I know, I end up threatening a prisoner, or you know, what like, did that happen to the prisoner again? You know, I get carried away, don't I? And then I, I make mistakes. And that's why we're here to catch you when you fall. What if we all tried and meditating no together? Well, regardless of the meditating, there's nothing here to be afraid of, it seems. Like, we're stuck, but there's nothing that will either kill us, Ooh, so there's no but, risk. But they but, said to clear your mind, right? Yeah. So what if we all tried meditating together? We could keep each other grounded. Don't do any harm, I guess. Meditation can be a good, stable foundation. Okay, okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go, but... Pearl's just gonna, like, hold out her hands to whoever's closest. Just be like, come on! <laughs> Jabs. Okay, I'll position myself on the floor. Circle around me. This is no... This is very difficult, you know. It's not, not easy emptying your mind while you're in some sort of internal subconscious netherworld with three of your failed conquests. This might just be the first one, you know that, right? That's All four of us are here, so we're probably going through each one of our minds at some point. It's never easy to ease your mind at all. It takes time. It takes patience. Normally I just think of waves. Thinking of waves helps me clear my mind. I am actually going to take Pearl's uh, advice there. Uh, I am going to think of like kind of, you know, nature and all the rest of it. But for me, it's going to be like 
rolling thunderclouds and that kind of uh, that kind of clearing the air that you get like post a post a sort of big thunderstorm so it's definitely going to be yeah and it's like i find the kind of like tracking electricity through the air i find it quite like i find it quite therapeutic but interesting um and that kind of sense of release that you get post a big thunderstorm so i'm going to be kind of thinking of that okay that's my thing. as you all gather around to meditate together you start to calm your minds and clear your thoughts <clears throat> javiel yeah you get a sudden rush of embarrassing images from your past uh any sort of slip up any sort of you know failed attempt at flirtation any any anything like that um you know drunk no, so we're down here a while then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> failed experiments all that kind of stuff um it all starts to to rush at you and then you start to see images of your mother who was very kind and caring she was a teacher she taught you many things um you know she looked after you while your father was away and as you're thinking about that and your thoughts turn to your father you get a flash an image of a tall thin man uh with a beard rather similar to yours just a bit longer uh long flowing white hair um looks very old but not he you know he's still got life in him he's still not like anywhere near close to death um looks very stern and pointy ears by any chance yes uh pointy ears and he looks straight into your eyes uh and you get a green flash can everyone give me either an intelligence or a wisdom check please yeah it should be doable I was like, can everyone still hear me? I almost I... just threw my metal dice at yeah, my laptop still, yeah. screen. Because wow. I had a connection issue just now. Mm. I think I started the sentence and you guys probably heard it. Just, That's know. the lowest intelligence roll I've had for a long time. So <laughs> what are we doing? Intelligence or wisdom? wisdom did 21. You oh, yeah. yeah I'll just roll wisdom. Or wisdom. 20. Because <laughs> I have a five That's a wisdom. fucking six. Yeah, I got yeah, I got a six as well. Uh, or plus five. And that's the higher of the two options. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this would Javiel be a 12 if I picked and Pearl will both take uh, uh, two. 13 embarrassment damage. Two psychic damage. <laughs> two psychic damage. Um, Are we getting insanity points for this as well? But <laughs> if as it goes wrong. Only you. After the vision fades and you open your eyes, Javiel, um, you get a clear image in your head of what you want to do now and where you're going. You you might still be figuring it out, but the, the conviction is maybe there a bit more than it was. And you're, you're maybe now learning to, to let go of those kinds of things. Uh, how I'm starting you... to get a better idea where it's all coming from, I have to say. And as you have this realisation, you hear click the lock of the door spring open. Uh and that's where we're gonna gonna end it. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> GG. D and D therapy, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, you know, Jay's all you got to do is confront your daddy issues, and the door will unlock for you as well. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> if Jay's is already this bad, I'm really curious if there's going to be something for me as worse. 
<laughs> well, easier because I don't. I have my know my dad. <laughs> well, what do you think, guys? I, I, I had mean, a fuzzy, I had a fuzzy I'm shoot. I'm straight up triggered right well, now, well. dude. <laughs> and that was great. I wrote my character too close to myself, and now I have to go and think about some stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I always, that's the trouble I always get myself the right characters. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I, I can, like, I, I like to method act, so I'll make them, like, have this aspect of me, and then I'm like, oh, ow. <laughs> emotions. <laughs> I forgot about the emotions. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> yeah, good. well played, mate. <laughs> That's really good. I hope there's a room for all of our brains. Yeah. I want to. I want the rest of us to get fucked in the childhood yeah. too. You're in trouble, <laughs> you guys. You're in trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna regret saying that. Oh no. <laughs> well, I've now got a week to write the rest of your guys' is Although, story. having said hey. that, Pearl's childhood was great. Everything in her life was great right up until she left Cavern Abyss. <laughs> and then it's been, then it's been a roller running. coaster. <laughs> I was just running all the fucking time, running away from home, basically. Good luck trying to traumatise Pearl. Good luck, oh, I really need to I... stop talking. Yeah, that was... I really need yeah, to stop talking. Oh, you shouldn't have thrown that challenge out. <laughs> really silly. <laughs> I'll pay for that later. <laughs> Good luck trying to traumatize me because I'm already pre traumatized. <laughs> yeah, and the worst thing is. traumatize me. I already have PTSD. <laughs> and the worst thing is, is, is if, if, That's how it if works, Pearl right? finally picks up a little bit of trauma, that will be the straw that breaks the camel's back in terms of Jacob's attraction to her because he is into the manic pixie dream. Girls, <laughs> like yeah, that's possible. Yeah. That'll, the be, the, thing, that's that'll the be the key in that lock. Missing is, is some trauma. Yeah, a little bit of damage. Well, that maybe you can fix and ease. Yeah, lot, yeah. Lots to look forward to next week. <laughs> lots to look forward to. Very much. Forward. I mean, she's already scared of heights. <laughs> yeah, she's already a little. She's already a little bit more fragile than you. Yeah. I mean that's that's just cute, but you know, like what 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 lurks in the next room is going to turn you into a project. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what do you? Well, I. What did you guys think of the the tree? It like, was so cool. good. Like Adam B. Cool. May know that he had something to do with damp lily, and I'm now really curious as to where that, was that good, goes. That was a good catch, actually. Like, I think that, that reference. I like that. I think. That it sounds like a really cool place to draw. That's what I think. Yeah. Yeah. Like a really nice charcoal drawing. I was just about to say charcoal. Of yeah, that, like... like the clouds and the the branches. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Get you get your concept fan art in then, folks. Yeah. Yeah. Can't draw post, it, post it in the comments yeah. below. <laughs> um. Lots yeah. of grayscale imaginings of the nest emerging from the clouds. For uh, for everyone on YouTube, thank you for watching. Really appreciate you guys. Uh, yes. If you want to follow these guys, their links will be down in the description. Uh, and if you want to catch the show live, it's 8 p.m. every Wednesday UK time, uh, which is 3 p.m. EST. Uh, I don't know any of the other time zones, so please figure it out and come give us a <laughs> give us a watch. <laughs> uh, but for now, we're gonna leave you with that. Uh, 12 a.m. Brisbane time. There you go. There you go. Midnight Australia. Get in here. <laughs> All you <laughs> night owls. Uh, yeah. I think I think they're night wallabies down there. Actually. Oh, I see. I see. I see. <laughs> uh, but for now, look after yourselves. Be excellent to each other. No, 12 p.m. We'll see you next time. Noon. Noon in Australia. <laughs> Peace out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Later, everyone. Get on at your lunch, go on.